As children, we fear the dark. Anything might be out there. The unknown troubles us. Ironically, it's our fate to live in the dark. This unexpected finding of science is only about three centuries old. Head out from the earth in any direction you choose. And after an initial flash of blue, and a longer wait while the sun fades, you are surrounded by blackness, punctuated only here and there by the faint and distant stars. There are 400 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy. Of this immense multitude, could it be that our humdrum sun is the only one with an inhabited planet? Maybe. Maybe the origin of life or intelligence is exceedingly improbable. Or maybe civilizations arise all the time but wipe themselves out as soon as they are able. Or here and there, peppered across space, orbiting other suns, maybe there are worlds something like our own on which other beings gaze up and wonder as we do about who else lives in the dark. We are now on an unprecedented scale, listening for radio signals from possible other civilizations in the depths of space. Alive today is the first generation of scientists to interrogate the darkness. In the sea it might also be the last generation before contact is made. And this, the last moment before we discover that someone in the darkness is calling out to us. Could the Milky Way be rippling with life and intelligence, worlds calling out to worlds, while we on Earth are alive at the critical moment when we first decide to listen. Far away, hidden from the eyes of daylight, there are watchers in the skies.